When it comes to surveillance, most IP cameras send out an RTSP stream that gets viewed in something like VLC player. Then to stream that video to a website, a service such as Wazzer Streaming Cloud is used to convert that stream to HLS. But to keep latency through browser playback equal to RTSP, you may want to consider using WebRTC. Let's look at how this can be done with Wazzer Streaming Cloud using wazzer.com slash webrtc slash play for playback. We'll start by adding a live stream. We'll name the stream after the surveillance broadcast, and once it's been named, we'll then choose the location closest to where the IP camera is located. Next, unless the camera is listed, we'll select Other RTSP. Then, using the Pull Stream option, we'll paste in my RTSP URL. We'll also check, yes, create an HLS stream with reduced latency, and we'll set the aspect ratio to 1080p. Next, we won't worry about the rest of the settings. These can always be changed later. We'll finish up and create the live stream. Now, with the live stream created, we'll jump over to Transcoders, where we'll select the transcoder for our live stream. Under Outputs and Targets, we'll locate the pass-through output and copy that output. This copy can now be modified to use H.264 as the video codec and Opus as the audio codec. Make the copy, and once it's made, we'll then go under Direct Playback URLs. It's here we'll find all the other protocols the stream is being transmuxed into. If these are accessed, additional egress charges are incurred, and while the viewer limit is set at 10, this can be edited to be 300. Now we'll open up WebRTC, where we can copy the last link for playback. This is the one we just created. Over in the player, we'll use the settings and paste in this source stream information. Keep in mind, just like our standard WebRTC options, this WebRTC playback page lets you add the data into the URL itself, rather than needing to paste it in to the settings like we're doing now. Okay, to finish up, let's go back to Wazzer Streaming Cloud, return to the live stream overview, and start the live stream. Now, starting the live stream may take some time, but once it's been started, we can then hit play in the WebRTC player. Now, as you can see, the latency is very close to that of the RTSP stream. If we go to the hosted page URL and look at the HLS stream, we're going to see that this stream is somewhere between 9 to 12 seconds behind the RTSP stream. Keep in mind, the HLS stream is running through a CDN ready to be broadcast to millions. If you're interested in using WebRTC to broadcast to a large audience, please contact our sales department about our real-time at scale offering. Okay, I hope this helps you stream with low latency from RTSP to WebRTC. Thanks for watching, and happy streaming.